The National Weather Service in Baltimore has issued a high wind warning for the District of Columbia until 10 a.m. Wednesday morning. A high wind warning will be in effect starting at 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time and will remain in effect until 10 a.m. on Wednesday morning. Locations include but are not limited to the District of Columbia. Winds will be light throughout the rest of the morning, gradually increasing to around 60 miles per hour during the afternoon. Gusts exceeding 80 miles per hour are possible. It is advised that you don't travel outside unless it is necessary. Winds of this strength are capable of toppling trees, pushing down power lines, and picking up and throwing everyday items as debris. If possible, move any loose objects indoors before the wind picks up to avoid having them thrown into the air. Stay tuned to local news media and National Weather Service reports for updates on this event. Repeating, a high wind warning has been issued for the District of Columbia until 10 a.m. on Wednesday morning. The National Weather Service in Baltimore has issued an extreme wind warning for the District of Columbia until 2 a.m. Thursday morning. The high wind warning has been cancelled. An extreme wind warning will be in effect from 12 p.m. this afternoon to 2 a.m. on Thursday morning. Locations include, but are not limited to, the District of Columbia. Winds will come from the east at around 110 miles per hour increasing to well over 350 miles per hour sustained by the afternoon hours. Gusts could reach upwards of 500 miles per hour. Winds will slowly begin to wind down during the evening hours, falling back down to normal levels a few hours after midnight. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Winds of this magnitude are unprecedented, not just in their speed, but also in their duration. Government officials urge you to get to an underground shelter if possible. It is unlikely that most regular housing units will survive this event. Bigger buildings made out of solid materials, such as bricks, cement, or stone will have a better chance of surviving this event, but that is not guaranteed. Tall buildings, such as high-rises or skyscrapers will likely collapse under the pressure of these winds. If possible, it is advised that you move out of any area that has tall structures. If there is no underground shelter available, the next best option is to get into the most interior room in your building, preferably one without windows. Put as much space between you and the outside as possible, and cover yourself with anything that you can. Items that may help you include, pillows, blankets, articles of clothing, mattresses, couch cushions, and generally anything soft to help soften the blow of flying debris. Lay as flat as possible, and cover your head with your hands, or even a bike helmet if you have one. This interior method still has a relatively low survival chance, but it's better than doing nothing. Electricity is almost guaranteed to go out during this event, so it is advised you bring batteries and battery-powered items with you, mainly, a weather radio, and a flashlight. Do not go outside until an all-clear is given. If you have no way of receiving the all-clear message, it's best to wait until you hear no wind at all before leaving your shelter. Repeating, an extreme wind warning has been issued for the District of Columbia until 2 a.m. on Thursday morning. A civil authority in your area has issued an emergency update. Please stand by for more information regarding the wind event that occurred in Washington, D.C. yesterday. Yesterday afternoon, an unexplained weather phenomenon occurred. At around 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, wind speeds increased exponentially from around 40 to 50 miles per hour. In the morning, 
to well over 350 miles per hour sustained over the course of a few hours. Any numbers from the afternoon hours are essentially educated guesses, as all recording equipment broke almost immediately after the wind started picking up. It is estimated at some point there was a wind gust upwards of 600 miles per hour. Many major landmarks, including the Washington Monument, Lincoln Memorial, the World War II Memorial, the Vietnam Veterans Memorial, and many more were severely damaged or destroyed by high winds. Along with historic landmarks, other major government buildings were severely damaged or destroyed. This includes, but are not limited to, the White House, the Pentagon, and the Capitol Building. The President and their Cabinet members were safely escorted to an underground bunker before the winds started. Things that have never been seen before were reported by survivors that contacted local authorities after the winds died down. Entire high-rises were strewn not on the ground, most areas are described as being hit with a nuclear bomb. One survivor reported seeing a plane flying in the sky as the wind started to pick up and being forced backwards by the sheer force of the wind. Rescue efforts are currently underway to try and salvage what is left of Washington, D.C. Many are presumed dead. Almost all housing units within the District of Columbia were completely destroyed. Please stay off of the phone lines, as they need to be left open for emergency personnel. Avoid calling 911 unless there is a dire emergency. National Guard troops have been called into Washington, D.C. to help with search and rescue efforts. Traveling out on the roadways is not advised, as there are massive piles of debris, power lines, and even water blown out of local ponds covering the roads. It is advised that you shelter in place, unless told otherwise by local officials. This message will repeat every 30 minutes until the situation is resolved or new information is available.